forbids, it is a great point of wisdom to find out one's own folly. In Ireland, there was a mound the good people did live around. They'd dance and make a merry sound on cloudless summer evenings. The locals knew this land belongs to fairy folk and fairy song, but now and then there'd come along a man foolish and greedy. One man thought to graze his sheep upon that grassy hillside steep. His first day there, he fell asleep in warm afternoon sunshine. The fairy people found him there. They pinched his nose and pulled his hair. Sir, you must leave, or else beware. We will do you a mischief. The man heard, but he would not go. So by the morning's early glow, he found his flock, once white as snow, with all their fleece gone missing. Another man espied the oak that offered shade to fairy folk. He thought to fell it with a stroke, so climbed the mound when he did. He raised his axe. The fairies cried, Sir, do not strike the oak's tough hide. You'll wish you hadn't. He replied, I care not for your warnings. He struck the tree. The, out, the axe bounced back. It turned on him and then attacked. It chased him home, then with a whack embedded in his front door. A third man came to build his home upon that high and grassy dome. For three long weeks he stacked the stone and thatched a roof to top it. The house complete, he lay in bed when footsteps fell above his head. Get up, get out, the fairy said, or we will tear your house down. The man, with no wish to offend, replied, please let me make amends. Just let me sleep tonight, and then I'll tear this house down for you. Good to his word, he took it down and found a new home in the town. Within, to his surprise, he found gold to last a lifetime. Atop it sat a little note. For your respect, the fairies wrote, we leave this gift and also hope you'll join us some evening. For music and for revelry throughout the night will Mary be in honor of your courtesy, uncommon in a human. The man enjoyed a life of wealth and fairy fun and glowing health because he could correct himself when he committed folly.